My speech today will be about how poodles have a unique origin, appearance, and temperament, which is unlike what most people are led to believe. So we see poodles every day print out like show dogs with their fur all fluffy and their hair dyed. But this dog, however, was originally bred in Germany to be a water retriever. The word poodle, the English word that we know poodle, it's actually from the German word puddle, which is spelled P-U-D-E-L, and it actually means to splash in water. So they're really good swimmers because they were bred to be water retrievers. That means they would catch like ducks and other birds from fur like hunters. So their fur was actually designed that way on purpose. It was designed that way because um, the fluffiness that they leave around like the limbs and their vital organs are specifically to warm them from the cold temperatures of the water and then the, they shave everything off in order to give them a more light, you know, to make them lighter underwater so that they could swim a lot faster. Shaving the coat off actually also helps them prevent, like, from getting stuck in debris underwater. So even though they use them a lot at shows and everything, they're very, they're still considered by the United Kennel Club to be a sporting dog. Now there's actually three sizes to the poodle, and I'll show you a picture. Poodle sizes. They have standard, miniature, and toy. Well, the standard is the oldest, and it's actually the largest. It can measure 15 inches or more, and it can actually weigh about 45 to 70 pounds. The miniature is the medium-sized one, and it could measure about like 10 to 15 inches, and it weighs like around 15 to 17 pounds. And then the toy, which is the smallest and the cutest one, it actually measures up to 10 inches, so it's very, very small. And sometimes it even fits in people's purses because it weighs just like 6 to 9 pounds. Now even though they're very different in size, they're very, very similar in appearance. They all have a squared body, so that means that from right here, their height there to the legs is the same size or length as the length of their actual body. So they have really proportionate bodies. Their coat is actually very curly. It's just a single layer coat, which is unlike most dogs. So that means that they are sometimes considered to be hypoallergenic dogs. Their eyes are dark and they're oval shaped and they always have an alert and intelligent expression in them. Their ears, they flop around very close to their head, like starting from like around the eyes. And they have webbed feet, which is very important because it makes them swim a lot faster. They have so many coats of colors. So here I have an example of a picture of like different coats. So there's brown, which has a lot of variations. It could be lighter, creamy, apricot, red even. And then they have the white, you have the black coats, and then just a bunch of different patterns that they're very, very pretty. Poodles are remarkably intelligent. They're very noble and good natured. They love to please people. They love to be around people. They're highly energetic. They're friendly and they're very cheerful. Well, the standard poodle is actually generally the calmer of all of them. The little ones are usually more hyper. They can all become very high strung and stressed out if they're not taking out for daily walks. So it's very important to walk them every day and to walk them properly. They can be trained very easily, but they do need to have a very strong-minded trainer or a very strong-minded owner who's calm, but can show them that they are the pack leader. So a lot of what happens is with the smaller breeds, they're so cute that they get spoiled by their owners, and then they become very snappy and aggressive. So I still have a poodle, and she used to be very, very aggressive, and she used to snap at dogs. We would open the door, she would run out and go attack other dogs, until we started walking her every day properly, you know, the pack walks with all of our other dogs, walking all together, and we started training her, not spoiling her, and she actually became very, very sweet. She doesn't attack any dog. She can even walk off of the leash now, and she'll obey everything, and she'll walk right next to us. So it's very important to train them properly. So in conclusion, despite their regal appearance, they look very fan like very fancy dogs, but they're actually very sweet and lovable. They're considered the second smartest dog breed by the American Kennel Club. So they're very trainable, but they're so much more than just show dogs. They're 
excellent swimmers and they make excellent family pets.